What's up guys? My name is AUTX X and I've noticed that there hasn't been any educational or tutorial video type of video on this channel so far and yeah. A couple of weeks ago a friend of mine hit me up and told me that he hasn't found a video on every support action like what it does, what it is so far on YouTube and I was like I could do a video on that if you want and he was like yeah if you want and as I came home and played a couple of rounds I saw a couple of new players who didn't know what they are doing with their support action like when to use it, why you should use it now and not later you know just basic things like that and so because of that I combined his idea with one of mine meaning like doing some full rounds with me commentating over the things what I'm doing and why I do them so yeah now you know why there hasn't been any crazy kill feeds yet in this video because I don't really care about what you see it what you see in the video not even me getting my ass kicked but well actually I want you to see me getting my ass kicked with sniper rifle in this situation because this is my first tip if you uh, notice that you don't support your team enough with a specific gun or class just switch the class setup because right now uh, uh, before I was using sniper rifle, you know, long range but I guess it would be better to get a little bit closer to them and that's the reason why I switched to spec ops yeah so well because I'm doing this not really live but I just rewatch a round of holy shit it's uh, AQ11 AQ11 is a small UAV for its point man class it can be used to kill slash humiliate enemies but it's not all too effective it can get you a couple of laughs or something but just use it as a normal UAV to spot enemies Anyways, back to the Spec Ops gameplay right now. Um, well, I try to distract the enemies and make them aware that I am going left side and I'm like doing some, doing some work over there to get them off the bomb so teammates can arm it. I've said it in a video a uh, really long time ago, I think it was actually my first video, I'm not sure, but I'm not the guy who goes for the plant every time, but I'm rather the guy who uh, makes sure that teammates can plant the objective or disarm the objective or whatever it takes. Right now I got the second tier support action for the spec ops, the dragon fire. It is a pretty big model strike with a long cooldown though, but it does massive damage. The only reason why I didn't use it is because in other classes, in this case it's uh, Assaulter, you get the second tier support action guided missile. It's pretty self explained, it's just a missile you can guide. So now I got another model strike, the 60mm. It's weaker than the Dragonfire, but it doesn't really matter all too much because there's something on combat mission which is called the combat area. 
and you can only call in support actions inside of it and a mall strike can't do much in a situation like this rather use a guided missile or something to uh, shoot close to the enemy spawn or something I guess you get what I mean so yeah As I've said before, um, if you don't like the length of the video, let me know in the comment section down below and tell me like, cut down the video length and only show the best parts of it. But I think it is better to do it this way because like this I can like, um, I don't know how to say it, but you know, I can say why I did it when I did it. Right now, I got the 30 support actions. The offensive is the cluster bomb, it is a Warthog AK A10 Thunderbolt flying over the map and causing massive damage with a big amount of clusters. But I don't know why, but I don't get points for it, so I don't, I mean, I don't get points for it if I kill it, dude. because of that, I use the defensive support action, the RQ7 Shadow, it's a UAV, which covers the whole map, and yeah, I mean, the cluster bomb is pretty good, but just for me, I don't get points for it, and that's why I don't use it. But if it's for you other than me and you get points for it, wait for the right situation to use it. Right now I wouldn't use it even if I get points for kills. Because it's basically the same reason why I didn't use the Mars Strike earlier. The enemy is behind the red line, means outside of your combat zone and you first would have to move up, meaning you would have to get the second bomb to explode and get to the next bomb. And yeah. So I'm about two and a half kills off the Apache now, and at this point, I don't risk anything anymore because we're. It's just Apache is badass and yeah. I don't want to lose it because of some stupid bullshit or something. Okay, little history time. Once I was using the demolition class on this map and I was chasing an enemy, jumped out of the window and killed myself, didn't get the Apache. That sucks. So, uh, this spot over there, the bridge, is pretty nasty. If the enemy controls it, he can create a devastating crossfire situation, and this isn't all too good, right? So, watch out for the bridge, and anyways, back on track. I try to stay behind teammates to have something in between me and the enemy and like slowly rack up some points just to get the patch you stay stay safe I mean if you're good enough you can easily rush them and you know it's just a little bit more of a thrill if you move up and face the enemy face to face close to the patch it's it's awesome if it goes off, but it sucks when it doesn't work. Right now I'm trying my teammate to shoot a couple of bullets and reload to get me some points. I'm actually 10 points off the Apache now, and this would be enough to give me it. Anyways, this works too. I got two kills, got the Apache. No, I can't call it in now because there's an enemy Blackhawk 
inside of the comet zone and another tip for calling in Apaches is if you can call one in don't call it in at the front line or don't call it in on the instance you get it just fall back a little bit stay stay in a position where the enemy can't shoot you before you can get in well, before the enemy can shoot Apache before you can get in that's what I wanted to say just fall back a little bit so the enemy hasn't a uh, free line of sight on it and then fly over the spawn and in a situation like this there should be a uh, 20 Apache kill feeds on my body side but I guess the enemies aren't spawning anymore because the round is about to be over and there's a patchy over your spawn it's not too fun so yeah let me know in the comment section down below if I should cut down the length of future map tips support action tips stuff I don't know, I don't know what to call this video type yet but uh, let's just go with map tips. This should do it. See you in the next video.